Thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, we're going to focus on QuickBooks 2016 new features. So let's get started. So I have listed a few in here, uh, seven. The first one is a bill tracker. Number two, uh, this fiscal year to last month report filter. And number three, bulk clear send forms. Number four, auto copy ship to address. Number five, rebuild, verify uh, improvements. Number six, labels to print support. And number seven, it's update company file with a new look and feel. So some, some of these fields and features uh, you may not care, but let's get started. Okay, here's a bill tracker. Let's go to uh, Real QuickBooks 2016. So I'm on home page screen here. So the bill tracker on the left navigation bar here, right here, bill tracker is right here. And you can also go from vendor center, right here, vendor center, and bill tracker is right here. And the other one is the bill tracker right here. So this is your bill tracker. Uh, you can you can sort any columns uh, you know these are the types they have purchase order bill item receipt credit bill payment check uh, credit card payment and check and you can also manually enter certain transactions in here right here okay so those are the ones and let's move to another one okay so this is the uh, uh, the this first this fiscal year to last month last month so so whenever whenever you run uh, company financial like profit and loss in the past you always had to run current month and even so last month actual so right now this is the one this month right here so this will be your uh, last month in here this fiscal year to last month so it won't include uh, September 1 although I'm running this on uh, 915 it will basically so last eight months actuals so that's pretty nifty uh, I've been using QuickBooks for since 1995 and whenever you run this uh, you always have uh, something you know for the current month and then you have to go back and and change it. So this is pretty uh, nice feature to have. Okay, and the other one is the uh, you can remove uh, forms here. If you want to remove this, you can remove it. In the past, uh, this wasn't there, so you, you know. But now they have one. So the uh, let's go to from here. Send forms. So right here, so you can remove these. Whenever you want it, you may have uh, uh, more than one page in here, and you can just uh, remove all those, uh, and it's done. And the other one is the uh, drop ship to a customer. So whenever you create, as you can see here, in QuickBook 2016, they added this, and I have this from 2015. Uh, this wasn't there, so this is the one they added. So let's go in here to create sales order so create sales order right here I've done one here okay and uh, basically whenever you want to create purchaser from here you will copy your drop ship address here so if you have a as you can see here uh, customer is James Brown and you're shipping to uh, Scott Brown different address in here so this is your uh, billing address and this is the your, your drop ship shipping address so in this case all they have to do is just to click this one and as you can see here drop ship to orders right here okay and the other one is the, uh, the verify thing from here so these things you can do verify data and rebuild data. It will create a report now, and the report uh, 
it looks like this and uh, uh, you can also verify review last verify rebuild in here so uh, all you have to do is uh, from this keyboard shortcut just, just select F2 and it will show you here this is the report so this is the one you, you get it from the product information page Okay, the next one. This is uh, the uh, so certain business they need to print some labels, and so for this you need uh, a special type of uh, uh, printer like a zebra type, uh, and so you can do it now. Uh, this is pretty nifty if you if you are in like a, a mass mailing business, you need to print uh, uh, print print labels like a row type of labels. So this comes in real handy. So the way it works is uh, from here, forms, and you select labels. As you can see here, they have all names for this customer type right here, customer types, uh, and all or didn't select by zip codes. Uh, and the next one, it's right here. So in here you will see label printer select single label and then you have to of course you have to select your printer in here. I don't have the right kind of printer here, but if you have the right kind of printer like zebra type, this is where you see it. And just put the label format in here and have a whole bunch in here you can see here and just print it. So uh, for a special type of business, this is a really nifty feature. Okay, the next one is uh, if you are upgrading from let's say 2014 to 2016 or 2015 to 2016, they will give you up to date information on what's happening. At the end, they'll give you uh, the status in here. That's about it. So it's kind of nice looking feel if you are familiar with 2015 or prior. Uh, you know, you have to wait and you don't know what's happening, but now they will give you up to date information in here. Uh, that's pretty nifty. Okay, so that's about it basically, and so uh, you can see here uh, any wall features, mm, not really. Okay, and so uh, the bottom line is we have 2014, 2015. Uh, you might as well wait till 2017, unless you really, really need certain features they have uh, in 2016. And but if you have 2013 and earlier. Well, it's time to upgrade. Okay, so what's the best place to buy QuickBooks? Uh, normally, you know, you, you go to Amazon or Costco. It's the same product. You either you buy from QuickBooks website or from Amazon, or Costco, or other discounted online stores. It's the same product. You get the same service. Not a, no, no difference at all. So, you know, you can always visit our website. It's newquickbooks.com. Newquickbooks.com. Uh, for any uh, regular price updates, and if, if someone has sale, we, we just we just post it there, and you can subscribe our uh, uh, channel here. It's YouTube.com VP Controller. It's right here, YouTube.com VP Controller. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.